Howdy ho, Taggers. I'm your new toast, Will Garrison, and today I will be showing you the top five roundabouts of Skagit County. So let's get the show off the road to number five, Sharpie's Corner. Here we are at Sharp's Corner. It's a pretty popular roundabout right on Highway 20. As you can see, it was intelligently designed with support lanes that bypass the whole loop-de-doo if you're heading towards Anacortes or coming back from Deception Pass. Around the perimeter, we've got a uh, mini storage, a country inn, an old abandoned building, and a plant store. So yeah, if you're ever in the area, don't forget to drive a couple circles around this roundabout. Now out to the farmlands for number four, we've got this beautiful tree roundabout on the intersection of Best and McLean. Sure is a lot quieter out here. Anyway, what is this thing doing out in the middle of nowhere anyways? Tulips, that's what. If you haven't heard already, Skagit County every year holds this thing called the Tulip Festival, where a bunch of uh, radical tourists come from all around the world just to look at a bunch of flowers in a field. It's pretty cool, though, because that means a lot of traffic. And a lot of traffic means roundabouts. Heck yeah. Number three. Picture this. You're going down College Way, you're going to go to the college, and then you miss the turn. What are you going to do now? The road's way too busy to whip a Yui. So you just keep driving, the trees fill in around you, and boom, a roundabout. Who'd have thought you'd find this beauty at the end of such a busy road? There's got some, uh, quite a few big rocks in the middle of it there. There's a bar and a grocery store over there. Uh, other than that, I don't know why this one's any better than the last two I did. I mean, heck. Whoever wrote the notes for this video should be fired. <laughs> Rolling in at number two is a roundabout you've probably never even heard of. The Burlington Rocket Ship. A couple of years ago I found this place listed on Google Maps as a national park, with reviews hinting at an underground speakeasy accessible via a manhole in the center of a silo, whatever that means. The listing has since been deleted, which is a shame, since not even archive.org could recover any evidence. <laughs> at number one we have the Conway About. Take the Conway exit off I-5, head west, and you'll find the biggest roundabout in Skagit County. This baby goes five different ways. It goes this way, that way, this way, that way, and over there. It even comes complete with two different gas stations and a pizza place, in case you ever run out of fuel for making too many circles. And now, at the top of our list, number zero, numero honorable mention, is these three roundabouts here in Cedro Woolley. There's like, there's so many, right? Like, why do you need so many roundabouts? I mean, they're like all so close to each other, and they don't even look that great. I mean, Burlington has this too, but our, at least ours look good, like rocks. And that concludes the top five roundabouts of Skagit County. I hope you had fun, or maybe learned a thing or two. Peace. Man, I've been doing a lot of driving today. I wonder if gas stations accept Tiger Morning Shows as payment. <laughs>